What's up people? So obviously everybody should watch this video because sobriety is a universally good move to make. It's a universally good concept. But especially for those of you who are religious or spiritual or whatever, whether you consider yourself Christian or Muslim, whatever, you especially should watch this because there's a misconception in, for instance, Christianity when it comes to alcohol and sobriety but before i get into that i'm going to explain how i ended up going on this sober journey sobriety is something that i've always thought about and even when i was smoking weed there were times when i went sober for instance during the first month of lockdown in 2020 i actually went sober from everything just because it was something that i felt like I needed to do and it was well, it's always been important to me in a sense and shout out to Jody because Jody is someone that is also conscious of the things that he does and he also inspired me to be uh, conscious of my usage of things and everyone should be conscious of these things anyway at the end of 2021 I was at my cousin's like 21st or something. I think it was November. And I had been drinking a lot of gin. We had obviously been drinking the people around me. And then at, at the end of the party or whatever, I ended up driving home. And on the way, I smoked two spliffs. And when I got back to my place in Stellenbosch basically when I got back to Stellenbosch because I was busy living there for those of you who know where Stellenbosch is and I was driving on that road to Jonkershoek like in the mountains and I will forever remember this story because it was very very it was a pivotal moment in my life and my sober journey I specifically remember, like, I was literally crying so hard, okay? I was, I was, I was crying with my soul. That, that painful cry. And I don't know, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going through stuff at that moment because we're all connected. But anyway, at that time, I was crying so hard and I was literally like, God, please, God, please. Like, I was like crying, like, God, please. I was begging. Like to please make this pain stop because I was in, I was in a certain amount of pain. I was, I had a certain pain that I just couldn't explain. And I was begging God. I was begging the divine, please, please help me stop this pain, please. Anyway, I went to sleep that night or whatever. And it's not like something specifically happened. It's not like I heard a voice speak to me, but I was led to sobriety. It's just what happened to appear in my life. I don't know how to explain. Like, it's just what seemed right. That's the path that was, like, shown to me is sobriety. Then on about 10 January 2022 is when I had the last bit of alcohol I've ever had. Um, and not too long after that, I stopped smoking weed. And then I stopped for, like, a few months and then started again and stopped for, like, seven months. It, it's been a journey. I'm sober now and I made a promise to be sober forever. I'm currently like, I don't know, 600 and something days sober from alcohol. Uh, and I'm sober from other things. And I am like a month sober from cannabis and nicotine. Now, the thing is, I, I, I have to say that for me personally, weed did have a purpose in my life. Weed did help me at a point. That's not to say it will help everyone because for some people it wrecks their life completely. The reason I'm saying this is because yes, drugs, alcohol, weed, nicotine, whatever, they may have a point in our life. They may have a purpose. But if you love something, you need to let it go. Especially if you respect stuff like weed. You need to let it go. The end goal should always be sobriety. It is our first state that we ever came into this world. And it is our natural state. Sobriety is the end goal. It needs to be the end goal. And as much as the drug revolution or whatever you want to call it had a purpose in society, in this life, on this earth, 
The next big thing that you're already seeing is sobriety. Now, the thing that you need to understand about sobriety, when we are sober, obviously I'm not talking about caffeine because caffeine technically is a drug, but caffeine is very different to everything else. Yes, maybe we should go even without caffeine, but like, I, that's debatable. Caffeine is very different to it. You know how different caffeine is, okay? Caffeine doesn't affect you like like cigarettes, like alcohol, like weed. Caffeine is very different. Anyway, I had to get that out of the way. <clears throat> what you need to understand is when you are sober, you have this direct connection with the divine, with God, whatever, with consciousness. You have this direct line of connection. When you bring weed or alcohol into the mix, and by the way, alcohol is literally called spirits. When you bring that into the mix, you are severing that connection. You are, you are adding a filter. You are adding something to your reality that is blurring that direct line with God, with the divine. And that is what people need to understand. You are your best when you have that direct connection. When you bring something else into the mix, you are essentially opening some sort of dimension or some sort of opening to a different reality. You are not in the reality that we are naturally brought into. You are inviting things into the mix. And that's the thing. When you are not sober, you can essentially bring pain into your life, inviting it without even realizing what you are doing. Even by taking a little bit of alcohol, you are literally messing with that. And that's what people need to understand. That is why sobriety is so important. Because when you mess with that line, when you mess with reality, when you mess with the reality that you are naturally given, you are messing with dimensions essentially i don't know how to actually i do not explain it you're messing with your reality so you need to realize that a lot of the pain in your life is simply in your life because of that those things that you are inviting into your life it's not as serious necessarily as inviting like demonic spirits into your life it's not necessarily that hectic but you are messing with a fine line and that's what you need to realize. When you drink alcohol, when you smoke cigarettes, when you smoke weed, you are literally messing with, with reality, with your consciousness. So that is what you need to understand. And that is what people who are, especially people who are religious, who are Christian, whatever, what you need to understand. That is why sobriety is so important because I don't know, I, I can speak from experience. The people around me have experienced how powerful my sobriety is. How, how things just line up. How you, can, how you can basically predict the future. Not because I can predict the future. But because I am connected directly with God when I am sober. When you are sober. You, you get this unfiltered, unfiltered, I don't know how to explain spirit or or force you get from everything around you when you are sober. It's 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 like a superpower. And that's the important thing people you need to realize why sobriety is so important. Because we have been led to believe that we can drink alcohol and be fine and smoke weed and be fine. And like I said before, they have their purpose. But you need to realize that sobriety is the end goal and why sobriety is so important. So I've told you my story. Do with it what you may. But you need to realize sobriety is extremely important. Yeah.